Hey guys, today is my 28th birthday, um, going up the ladder there. Uh, I wanted to share with you a very, very, very beautiful melody I've heard from Vicente in the album Poeta. I think it was released in 1997, if I'm not mistaken, and I think it's one of the most beautiful melodies I've, I've ever heard, really. Um, I'm, I decided to play it on guitar, like on one guitar. I just um, took the melody and chords. I didn't do anything like super complicated for the arrangement. It's just the, the melody itself with the chords. I know many of you will enjoy this. I, I hope so, at least. All right, so first up, we're going to start with the chords, okay? I'm going to explain the chords, at least the way I see them in this piece here. Um, and then we can talk a bit more detail about the right hand. Mostly if there's anything also very complicated, okay? So we start with the G major, uh, sorry, G sharp minor, <laughs> it's already bad. So we start with the G sharp minor chord like this, and then going to, this chord would be, for me I see it as a D sharp minor, like this, and going to, this is a E major 9, right here. It could be any, like it could be just an E major, Let's say, but it's just playing a melody over E, right? So you can see it as just an E major, or I like to take the opportunity and put the E major 9 here. And go back, G sharp minor, going now to B minor. G major 7. Here I like to see it as an F sharp minor way and going back to G major 7 now we have F sharp this time it's a flat 9 instead of the minor before right now we have right and then we go to B minor 
G major 7. So here we have like a any minor 6 in a way, but again, I like to see where is the root always. What's the tonic? It's E minor, right? And he's playing a melody over that chord. So we have it becomes like any minor 6. Right? But again, just E minor would be better here just to think of it this way, no? Now in the part after that, when I heard the original recording after I recorded my video, I realized they go to D major instead. So it's up to you to choose if you want to go for a B minor, like I did in the video, or a D major here. They honestly both sound very good. So if you go... Um, becomes like a D major to a D minor in, the, in this case. The way I did it in the video was I went from the B minor and then went to the D to the D minor like this. So if you if you do this this way, check this out. So we have second time. I prefer the B minor here. Um, when I hear with the with the orchestra version, you know, I think it's it's nicer to go for the major, this D major. It's just so much more full. But here on one guitar, I I think I would rather play the the B minor and then just slide to the D minor here. B flat major seven. have a same thing like before so this one I see it as an A minor but with the bass C so it can be this way or it can be also this way or like that then after this part we're going to move backwards again so if you noticed in the very beginning we went from the G sharp minor and we went up to B minor and then we went to D minor now he's going to start going back down so he goes back to B minor G major 7 now we have can have a, an F sharp ninth for example like this a sus as well backwards to G sharp minor this way and can have here an E major 7 and close with a D sharp uh, let's say flat nine or just D sharp okay this part is, is really very nice because he's going backwards instead and he's changing slightly the melody as he's going backwards so in the beginning we were playing on down this time he's playing on E major nine, uh, major seven and then we can start here the tremolo that I did are on G sharp minor going to E major 7 and then we have F and back to G sharp minor it's, it's so nice the combination of these chords I think the chords are normal right it's just the melody and the way it's it's put is perfect really so as you go G sharp like this and we have F sharp I'd like to have the 9 and back to the add 9 as well here. Okay? Now, if you do the tremolo, this part it's all <laughs> very very nice no the last part is actually very simple when it comes to the harmony it's just 
uh, well, kind of, G sharp minor, I put an E here. I'm not sure Vicente if he does it or not, actually. I think the original is just uh, G sharp. I think, I think that he's just playing over the G sharp minor and then he goes to the F, right? Like the F sharp. I'm not used to playing it like this. So what I, it's just a small bass I added and it's like becomes G sharp minor E and then F sharp. So it becomes something like, uh, for example, this way. Not to have this trouble of using this all the way here, we can just open E. F sharp. Very, very, very beautiful. Again, like every single part is just has its own world, really. Um, so these are the chords, like, again, it's not about the chords, I think, when it comes to Vicente's pieces, I, I truly think it's the way he put the chords together, the, the order, and the melody. The melody is the most important with Vicente, so simple, right? But so beautiful, and that's the tricky thing, to have both. Now we're going to go on the right hand, it's so detailed, might be complicated, but at the same time, very, very simple. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but... It's the most important you have to keep in mind is to play the melody and if you want to play like Vicente you need to know how to accompany the melody. So you need to know how to accompany yourself very well instead of doing this for example like that. Right? We have to know how to be able to put the chord in the back. melody followed by the chord so I'm not honestly going to be very specific in what to do on the right hand so much I just give you examples and you can do it your own way I'll show you many ways to do that it can be done many ways in the beginning I recommend to have this like small rhythm and we have like thumb index and middle ring together down thumb on the six and this on the, the index on the fourth and then middle ring together third and second like this this way before going, you have to give the chord first, so you go down thumb index middle ring, and then you start. Here we have like a picado, important to be picado so that you can highlight the melody, otherwise it'll be very weak, it has to be clear. And same thing so as you put the chord the melody here put the chord now we go down the thumb if you want like this or whichever is more comfortable for you nail no nail down whichever one go softly and go back Dynamics are important, so it's to bring it down. It's like a wave, you know? It's even called Poeta en la Mar. You have to pretend you're on the beach here. <laughs> Let's say you put this chord like this. Fading away, and then slowly coming back. is the going like strong and then going down soft and back strong and it's just like the wave exactly really think of it this way at least it will help you like uh, at least know what you're looking for in dynamics okay so as you go here 
So here we have... <laughs> I'm not sure I'm explaining properly, but when we go here, major 9, we go 9 and 8 on the 3rd string and 4th and go back to the G minor. Here we play a little bit strong, we said. It's all the same, so we have... time you refresh we kind of give the thumb index middle ring down so always every in a way every measure even though it's free but like this going down two and three okay so we have like three times I believe uh, going down the chord first one two and three we give this second time strong okay and then index we go to the B minor like this okay again you can do the same thing later I will show you what you can do uh, different variations of this but for now just the melody bass bass and melody very important at the same time and then you accompany okay be nicer this way because if you don't then the bass it's a bit weird but the bass kind of directly gives you like um, or the listener at least where you are at in harmonically speaking so when you go where were we <laughs> and see now without even doing this down you can know that it's already changed because of the bass then together down you can even go then again G major 7 bass chord so the order if you realize like um, it's repeating like melody bass in a way it's there's a delay melody bass and then chords so chord bass chord all together and then again the same thing melody bass chord okay so you get the idea it's always you give the melody uh, first and then you give the bass and then you can anything you want in between to highlight the chord what it is right um, okay so we have the B minor chord just always the same thing this way we go melody and then to G major 7 just keep this finger placed and go to G major 7 like this now we have the same melody but now we go here we have with the thumb, the thumb like we said before just going down the chord second string 3 5 2 and then repeat G major 7 again the same thing what I like to do is the second time if we have the same chord let's say it's kind of reassuring to put the chord more confidently in a way so the first time and then a few more notes or one more note based uh, technically which is the D it kind of has like this reassurance of that chord that you're playing right now F sharp flat 9 so here you can do like any way you like the chords, you can do an arrastre like this, or you can just go down, however you like. The most important is that you feel the chord because we are not doing much. We are, we are not doing anything super, super complicated here. We are doing very little and uh, we have to make sure to get all the notes right and in the right place with the right dynamics in order to transmit properly, okay? If we're doing like a picado scale or something, just with repetition over and over, you know, it's 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 one way to explain it. But what I'm explaining here is how to feel the chords is something very, very, very important. It can be something very simple, but it just gives so much. Just one chord down. Wait. How 
much you wait here would mean everything. If you don't wait enough, it will sound very, very, well, not so good. If you do like... Whatever, very, it's like you're just going through it. You're reciting something that you, you heard before and that's it. Instead, every chord that you put with every melody, wait. And then when the guitar stops ringing, start over again. Okay, it's like, again, the same thing as the wave we talked about. Uh, in this case, so uh, we got to this part and we repeat G major 7 two times. Simple melody, chord, me melody bass and chord. Now, here and the F sharp flat 9, we can go like a uh, flat 9, no? Pulgar would be nice or like this with the flesh only, it's up to you. And I like to have this arrastre here to give the flat nine this way. And then we go directly the melody clearly. So we have the melody going here. Four, two, three, five, two. Bass and chords, B minor. And then we go G major seven. Like this. So here we have three, four, zero, three, two. Then we go zero three five zero zero three two this way so give the melody first bass melody ah oh, sorry actually uh, going from bass third fir first and second like this now here again it's up to you like we said before if you want the major or it's it's uh, I don't know it's so beautiful also. I guess if you give it the right way, it might sound also very good even on just one guitar. So if you go like and go down, but it's still not. trying to figure out which way to how to play it you know with the major I guess it could sound just in general nicer if we go with the bar like this compared to this way just this one note the F sharp gives a big difference right open three or the other way would be just the chord by the way like this the same thing middle ring now this chord I understand it's it's not so easy to put directly so we can substitute if you want with just like that so as you go you can have this for example <laughs> it's still difficult but anyway you can have the just like that the zero three six and it would be also nice if you go like I did before three two three two on the third now we go five three B flat major seven would be really good here right or you can ninth as well C major and then the A minor over C right so we go from open first down C major with the bass and go down two two one zero going back okay F sharp going again back this is I don't think it was necessary for hopefully for explanation but it's a B minor just like this go again G major 7 and then we have two six three and thump thump index ring middle okay can go this way 
uh, if the chord is difficult also you can just have it's okay but the ninth sounds so nice then you go to this is back to G sharp minor basically but the melody is a little bit different uh, so we have four one four and we have from the six four three two like this going down the chord index middle ring then we have three one four and we go here so we have uh, zero two two four zero zero or you can just go for the E major seven it's up to you really but to follow up with the melody I think this is very powerful and I don't think this part is uh, supposed to be like soft I think it's nicer to like if it's soft I think the next part would be soft is nicer so going from here and then soft or it could be here a uh, G sharp minor by the way and then he starts again from G sharp but I put in the recording a uh, D sharp which is like kind of closing up the melody you know and then starting the tremolo from this point okay this last part let's say G sharp minor then we have to put here four one and three down all right so now for the tremolo part uh, it's again it's the simplicity here is just like giving the melody down and accompanying up with the chords in the back so nothing very very special I think what's special is the melody itself and the way it's it's put really so if we just go here G sharp minor and open with a small burst like this on the so the melody basically so we have four three two the string number is four three two four three two like this and the melody down is four 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 six seven here we can give a open six and then here we have I believe this is nine and nine down it's complicated with the capo but uh, zero nine nine zero nine nine on the six fourth third and we, we go here we have uh, 11 and here we have the basically the F sharp so we are going to put uh, what would that be again 9 uh, 9 11 9 11 and 9 uh, 11 as well <laughs> we give here five four three on the right hand and then again now only melody down go down so nice so as you go up again the bass is only. Let me do it like this. I think this would be better. simplest way to to explain the tremolo going down changing the chord here we start on the five five four three two one and four the thumb i'm referring to four three two four uh, four three two four three two six Bit 
difficult to talk at the same time. So I think this was the closest way to, to get the melody in a very, very nice way because it's short. It's not a very long piece we're doing right now, like a short melody. So I wanted to have some variety. I could have went just like this. example no but I prefer the tremolo and I think most of you will prefer also the tremolo no uh, so as we finish at the very end uh, I want to make sure that we are able to also go down softly at the very very last part this transition is very important how to make it so uh, you have to fade out the tremolo So that the tremolo goes softly out of the picture and then you just start to play the, the arpeggios directly. So we go second time. Then you start this main melody, okay? I think most of you would want this melody most, <laughs> which is very attractive melody, I think. It's going so very slowly, I'll do first. I don't think there's much explanation to do if you can, if you can catch the right hand, but uh, mostly what I need you to remember is that we have thumb index ring directly. Like this. Thumb index ring, index ring. And the second ring would be opening the bar. Middle finger, and then we have thumb, middle, index, ring, middle, index. Here the same thing. Doesn't this kind of remind you of this melody there? similar no uh, this key has a lot of very very beautiful harmonies you can get out of the G minor G sharp minor because the open strings are just so perfect really to, to have this kind of sounds I mean like that uh, I hope that it's I hope that it was clear enough um, just keep in mind about this kind of melody the one that we just did it's not so uh, technically uh, impressive in a way I think it's just about knowing or understanding what you're playing and feeling the chords and feeling the melody and everything behind it knowing where to put the dynamics where to play strong where to play soft i think this is the perfect example of uh, showing um, like sensitivity in your playing and not just you know impressing somebody with your technique like i know nowadays it's it's very hard because there's so much technique going on in flamenco 
I hope this will be a new like a, a breath of fresh air I think like just just stop for a while just stop and take take a break and just listen to your guitar and listen to these chords listen to this melody and then enjoy that the reason I say this is because nowadays we have a we have a lot of technique in flamenco guitar to be honest like you can see guitarists nowadays eating the guitar like it, it's becoming the new trend I guess or something and I just and it can be overwhelming like uh, to, to, to see somebody ripping off the guitar and then it might make you feel like what if I never get there or something like that and and this is what this is my whole intention for for today this video is to just um, don't don't think just remember why you started in the first place I hope it's not to become super fast <laughs> But uh, just remember why, what music is and why you started in the first place and just enjoy the moment, enjoy the instrument itself and don't just, you know, overwhelm yourself with this pressure that I have to be like this guy or this guy or this guy. Instead, just play one chord, listen to the chord, play some melodies like this and then hopefully that will make you enjoy the guitar more, honestly, and relieve yourself from this, uh, from this pressure. So hopefully that uh, that helps and that would be it for the tutorial. I, I hope again you were able to catch up everything fine and uh, I'll see you hopefully soon with another video. I'll be thinking of something. Have a nice week and take care. Stay safe.